Good morning. Beautiful start to day five out here on the AT. Just past the midway point. Had a nice uh, hike out of the shelter area this morning. A couple of miles with a group, uh, a tramley, uh, younger kids. So they're uh, coming from Georgia, obviously. Head north. I'm just heading north. And, uh, and it's, uh, I think it's too far north uh, anyway. Um, Mile 1100. Here's another and much better marker for the halfway point. Had a great little stop at the uh, Furnace Grove General Store. Highly recommend that. Nice little resupply, lots of snacks. Even had a cowboy burger. Uh, not a lot of, lot of uh, charging outlets. I think maybe four. So we had about 12 or 15 people there. So we had a little line for that. But I got in there for 20, 30 minutes. Got a nice little charge. And now I'm back on the trail through the state park here and onward. Got seven and a half miles to the next shelter and then a couple of campsites a little bit after that. Not sure what's gonna happen today. I'm just out here on the AT enjoying it. Definitely have to uh, kind of roll with the punches a little bit, which uh, I definitely love hiking like that. It just adds to the adventure. You just, you can't plan too far ahead or you can just loosely plan. And I really enjoy that aspect of it. Really enjoy that aspect of the AT. Some great conversations there on the front porch at the general store. And a lot of those people are now kind of scattered a little ahead of me and a little behind me. So I'm sure I'll see those uh, as we all move up the trail. All right, let's get going. I'm feeling really good today. Uh, I probably put in about 17 for the day. It's only 3.30 and I stopped for almost an hour, I think, at the general store. So needless to say, I'm making some great time. Part of that I think is due to the trail. The trail's just not as brutal as it has been the last few days. Uh, it's leveled off quite a bit. And for the most part, not a lot of rocks. So it's been an easier trail. The weather is much cooler. And because of all those facts, I'm able to uh, make some good time. And like I said, I'm, I feel good. So I think day five is part of it. Just kind of building those muscles up, getting everything used to it. Makes me wonder what uh, 14 straight days would do or 30 days or 60 days. Wow, I can't imagine.
Well, I messed up. There was one spot to get water before a, a couple of tent sites that I'm looking at to stay tonight. And I missed it. And I missed it by about a half a mile. It's a half mile back. So, wasn't paying attention, I guess. So my other option is to go down to the uh, Mountain Deli and uh, I can get a soda or something there, check it out. So it's not a loss. I kind of wanted to go there anyway, but I didn't want to walk the uh, almost half mile out of my way. So at this point though, it's shorter. It's a half mile, not less than a half mile round trip. So it is what it is. Back on the trail after a quick stop at the uh, Mountain Deli. I just got some water and a Dr. Pepper. Like I said, I missed that stream back there, so not too bad. They had a nice little deli, nice resupply station. I'm just out walking in the rain, basically. Past the first campsite, it was nice, but still early i'm feeling good and it's just a, another mile or so to the next campsite so i'm hoping it'll be just as good and i'll be another mile down trail and that's another mile closer to boiling springs which i think i'm about uh 10 miles outside of roughly so i'll be going through boiling springs tomorrow morning But first things first, on my way to camp. Here's the uh, second campsite that I had in mind that I, I thought I could probably get there uh, when I looked at the map earlier this morning, but uh, I'd already decided I'm gonna go ahead and go past that one. I've got another mile and another campsite next to a stream. So, in uh, true fashion, I went out of my way to purchase water to haul it uphill and now it's going to be for no reason because I'm going to end up camping by a stream. So once again, attesting to the fact that I love to carry water uphill. It's just training, training for the AT. PA Route 94. Far out says power lines, point one. Power lines, there they are. Thanks far out. Got a great little campsite here tonight. Um, I'll put the mileage in down here, uh, what mile on the trail it is, but no name. It's an unofficial campsite. Uh, two or three people here already, so not gonna do a whole lot of filming, but it's the same old routine. Uh, I just washed out my socks, uh, my bandanas and everything, get ready for tomorrow. I'm going to have some dinner and head off to bed. It's really that simple. And get another early start tomorrow and do this all over again. It's wonderful, love this. Rainy and cool tonight. Just the way I like it. Let's hope I uh, stay nice and dry. All right. Good night until in the morning. Good morning. Day six out here on the AT. Another beautiful start. It's nice and cool. Today I've got about eight miles or so into Boiling Springs, Pennsylvania. And then there's a 14 mile stretch through, I think it's called the Cumberland Valley, um, where there's very little water and no camping. So that's gonna make for a pretty big day, uh, about 22 miles. So hopefully the weather cooperates, stays nice and cool and no rain and I can make some good time. I did about, uh, about the same yesterday. So that's two big days in a row. But like I said, I'm feeling good out here on the AT. I love this.
This is the Yellow Breaches Bridge. I'm in the town of uh, Boiling Springs, PA, heading to uh, TCO Outdoors. Uh, try to look around, maybe get a couple of supplies. Had a nice pizza lunch uh, earlier to Neil's Pizza, I think it's called. And uh, then I'll be back on the trail here real soon. Check in here and see what's going on. And that wraps up my stay in Boiling Springs. Headed out. Got a little doggy on the trail today with me. His owner's right behind me. He's having a good time. I'm here at the Wolf Trail Spring. That's about uh, one mile down from the Darlington Shelter and about 425 feet elevation, I think. Um, but the water resource up there is not that reliable and it's, uh, I think, 300 yards away. So I'd rather get it here, take it up. But overall, it's been a really nice day. Uh, this is typically kind of a less than glamorous section of the AT through this corridor. Uh, no water and uh, no camping to speak of. So. You got uh, f almost 14 miles, I think. So 13 and a half, something like that. Um, but it was nice overall. So here I am a mile away from the shelter. It's been a long day. Uh, I'll check back in when I get there. Just gonna get, get a little more water and get going. Don't wanna be the last one up there. I'm sure it'll be a little crowded. I'll check in when I get up there and let you know what I have in store for the rest of the night and tomorrow. great view to the south and this great bench to enjoy it. A little bit of uh, pizza I packed out from lunch. Very nice. Very nice dinner. All right. Well, just finished my uh, dinner and going to get some things together and call it an early night. I uh, did 22 and a half miles today. feel pretty good. Uh, I've got 11 into town tomorrow, so I made some calls about getting a shuttle back to Harper's Ferry and trying to make arrangements for a place to stay. Um, I, there's a hostel in town, and there's also the Doyle Hotel. So uh, we'll see. I have some options, and I'm just going to take it easy tomorrow. Try to stretch this uh, out as long as I can. Really, really enjoyed my time here on the AT, and uh, can't wait to be out here again. And I'm not done yet. See you in the morning. Good morning, it's my last day on the trail. Uh, I've only got about 11 miles into uh, Duncannon, so I'm going to take my time this morning and leisurely pack up.
beautiful views this morning. I think, uh, obviously I'll be heading down this trail and I think I'm going, there's a little ridge here. I go up and over that. And then obviously onto that big ridge. And then it's following that all the way down. I think maybe this point right here is uh, Hawks Rock, I think. One of these is the high point and then it tapers off down into Dun Cannon. So I'll follow that ridge and then over that ridge down into Dun Cannon. Home stretch. I'm here at the uh, stream crossing, which is the last water source before I get to Dun Cannon. But more important than that, it's uh, right before my last big climb, not only uh, for today, but for the entire trip. So, and it's not as tough as some of the ones I've done. So this is it though. And I get on top of the ridge and I'll check back in when I get to a uh, Hawk Rock or thereabouts. Nice uh, black rat snake. It's a good snake. Coming up to Hawk Rock. Wow, it's been a great uh, 125 mile trip out here on the Appalachian Trail from Harper's Ferry up here to uh, Duncannon, which is just down below me, uh, just a couple more miles into town. Wow, it's been amazing. I've learned so much on this uh, trip. I can't wait to use uh, what I've learned in the future on section hikes or maybe even a through hike of the AT. This is a great trail. If you've never been out on it, uh, get out here, check it out yourself. Um, this puts me, I think, at just about doing a sixth of the AT. I had a lot of time to think out here on the trail. Uh, so I've done approximately one sixth of the AT. Uh, every part of it's been great. So I'm gonna head down into town and finish up this hike stay at uh, either the hostel or the hotel in town and uh, get something to eat. Uh, more importantly, I'm gonna get a shower. So I'm about two miles from getting a shower. Thanks for watching out here on the AT. So I'm at Hawk Rock right now. And look at this. This is Dun Cannon After Hours. Ice cream treats.